Hey guys, this is Shane. Today I'll be doing a course review of the Applied Analytics Practicum. In this review, I'll be talking specifically about the internal projects that Georgia Tech and its sponsor offers, not the company sponsored project. Before I continue with the slides that I prepared for you guys, please take a moment to donate some money to either Cash App, Venmo, or Buy Me a Coffee because these type of videos doesn't really generate a lot of money for this channel and it does take a lot of time to put these slides together and, and make sure that I formulate all my thoughts so that it can be very helpful to you. All right, let's actually talk about the pre-practicum information. Practicum is very different than other courses that you register because you actually have to do a form in order to get access to register for practicum. So this is sort of some of the information that you will get uh, once you register for practicum. I took this course in spring 2023. So I started getting the practicum information on fall of 2022. So the first email I ever got was like the register for practicum email, which I got on September 15th. So when you register for the practicum, you do have the option to choose between internal or company sponsored. Obviously I you know, chose the internal, which is why I got the second email, which was sent to me on October 20th. This was a very detailed email that had all the information that you need to know about the projects. They have a, a document that shows all the products that's available for that given term and the summary of those projects as well. And in that email, they also mentioned that the QA session for those projects starts on October 31st of 22. So this is not a separate email. It just a, I just wanted to call that out, uh, that as soon as you get that practicum internal project information, you are going to get the QA sessions. And the QA sessions usually happen in the business hours. So it's kind of inconvenient if you're working full time. They are recorded so you can actually watch it after work if you need to. What I highly recommend you to do is to go through the project summary as soon as you get the email on October 28th or whenever you get that email and rank those projects in terms of like which one you or your buddies want to do together. You are going to then get an email on number 14th and that email is sort of like a way you can rank your selections. If you and your buddies want to be in the same project, what you need to do is all of you need to submit this survey at the same time. In doing so, you can almost guarantee that you're gonna be in the same project. Don't wait until the last minute to do, to do this ranking because if you do, you're not gonna get the project that you wanted to work on. The next email you're going to get is a request for your signed NDA. Once you sign the NDA, then you get the option to register for practicum. Usually they send you an email letting you know that you can go ahead and sign up for the course. So this is a grading structure of this project. I actually have a slide specific to supplemental videos, midterm slide deck and final report. So I'm going to be talking about the project work and professionalism reviews first. The project work is really graded based on like you working with your team and making sure that you are giving a deliverable at the end of the final report. That's how you make that 40 percentage. The professionalism reviews are like the reviews that you're giving amongst each other. After each individual deliverables, you have to rank the people that you're working with and give them some feedback. So on the right side, you can see the deliverables and the due date. I usually put my due date on like the first weekend. Um, so truly, even though I'm saying midterm report is due on February 19th, very likely it's not due until like the midweek, so the 22nd or something. So this kind of gives you an idea of when things are due. And the deliverable list may differ based on the internal project that you sign up for. There are some projects that require you to do a weekly project report, which is a lot of work. So it really depends on the project that you're signing up on um, and that, that really have an impact on the number of deliverables that you're gonna have for this course. Now let's talk about the supplemental videos. There are about 20 to 25 videos that you can watch on, on like in the, ma in the span of like two to three hours. These videos are useful for like college kids that don't have like job experience, but for someone who have job experience, these videos are just like career advice. It really doesn't matter. You just need to kind of listen through it and so that you can get that 20 percentage. And it's really not relevant to practicum. It's just relevant to the overall analytics program. So one of the deliverables you may have is a midterm slide deck to your sponsor. I had these items in the table of contents that I have here. In, in my group, we, we were three members and we did 25 to 30 slides for the midterm slide deck. You had to spend some time to make it look pretty and, and do all that good stuff. Very, and very likely you will get a good grade on it. For our sponsor, we did not have to, you know, submit our code in the midterm, but some projects may require you to do a code submission in along with the midterm slide deck to your sponsor. In the final report, these are the table of contents that we had. It was about 25 to 30 pages and we did have to submit our code, 
we had to write a readme, we had to kind of, you know, clean up the code and, and write all the comments to make it easy for someone who was going to review the code. Now I'm going to give you some tips on how you can manage this practicum. So because this course doesn't have any exams or anyone telling you, um, you know, things are due on this date, you really have to work closely with your members to make sure everybody is you know, working together and, and producing materials for the deliverable. Uh, what I highly recommend is to create a Microsoft Teams group chat. And in this group chat, you do have the capability to, you know, create folders and put in your deliverables there. So all of you can actually work together and make sure that you, are, you have the ability to like sort of trace who is doing what. Along with that, I also recommend to create a OneNote and in the OneNote, you can, you know, track down all the action items, take notes from, you know, the TA sessions that you will have. I highly recommend you to join the TA sessions with your sponsor. In those sessions, you can actually ask questions you may have about the project. And uh, our sponsors were really great. They were, they were pretty much answering all type of questions. So uh, even if it's not really relevant to the project and you just want to know more about the business that they're in, they are willing to answer that. Definitely join those TS sessions because you may find it very useful. What I recommend is to choose two to three members per group because it's easier to manage and um, make sure you, you know, these people that you're teaming up with are reliable people. You have to take about like eight or nine courses before you take this course, right? And so you may have already met some members throughout the, your journey in analytics to say like, okay, these are the people that I want to work with. See if they can actually take practicum with you at the same time. So you don't have to worry about somebody joining your team and not really doing much work because that does happen. If you're someone who don't have that type of connection, then find people through Slack or Piazza. Once you find those people, you can search in LinkedIn to make sure that their background uh, is going to be in alignment with the project that you're setting out to do. Meet with your teammates at least once a week. If you're working with someone who is based in a different country, uh, accommodate their time and also your time. For us, we were meeting on Saturdays and then we also meet on Sunday for the time when we have to do uh, a deliverable submission. I highly recommend you to meet on Saturday so you still have like what that one more day of weekend to work if needed. And that's it. I really hope you find this video helpful. Make sure you donate some money through Cash App Venmo or Buy Me a Coffee website. I uh, really appreciate you watching this. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next. Bye!